Capricorn. Welcome to your September. You get a card that's upside down. Just remember that that it still means the same thing. It just means there might be a little bit of work involved. It might not be all easy peasy. It might be a little bit of, you know, you gotta take three or four or five steps instead of one or two. Sometimes things just land right in our laps. And we don't really have to do jack. We're like, dang, that was some good luck. So if you get a card that's upside down, you're not gonna have that, dang, that was some good luck and you were just at the right place at the right time energy. No, it's gonna require effort. It's gonna require persistence. It's gonna require patience. It's gonna require diligence and work. Yep, Capricorn. Bring it in, baby, bring it in. Bring it in for Capricorn. New beginning, number one. September. And you have an ending. It's right there. Yep, put your ending right above the heart, right? Because sometimes we really need that higher heart energy to help us with our endings. And then another new beginning. If I already didn't tell you, two new beginnings, one ending. You have a new beginning and it has to do with your beliefs. You could be traveling right? This is your ninth house. Yes, I do the astrology first, and then we'll flip the card for the clarifier. This is traveling, but this would be like airplane travel, but this is also higher education. Are you teaching? Are you going to school? Now, you could be like a spiritual teacher, but this could also just be like college education, extended education, okay? This is that house of wisdom, so it's not like high school. This is like the big school stuff, okay? now. If there's a new beginning here, it has to do with possibly a new job. Could be job opportunities. This means keep your emails, you know, make sure you're checking, keep your alerts on. There is something coming through. It even might simply be something as simple as a new routine at your present job. Um, maybe you'll be traveling in your new job. If you get a new job, maybe you'll be traveling in your present job. Like, you know, hey, We've got this new assignment for you, or maybe you're moving to a different department, but there's something new. It has to do with your daily routine. Something about your job is absolutely changing. It's a new beginning. Uh, so it could just be your schedules being moved around. It could be that because this is Virgo energy and it's all about calendars, right? It's all about day-to-day -day stuff. It's all about tasks and projects. So you may be handed a new project. This may also be tied into your health. Do you need a different job to improve your health? Do you, do you work in a job that has something to do with healthcare? Uh, Virgo energy in the ninth house, you're going to be a real practical spiritual person. Might be a little bit of traditional spiritual values tied into this, but stuff that makes sense. Like it should just logically make sense. It's, it's real down to earth, very functional stuff. All right, let's flip your card, Capricorn, and see what we got here for your new beginning. This card's been coming up a lot for folks lately. This is the moon and Scorpio. All right. So this is deep, intense emotions is what this tells us. This is deep bonds, but see the little, the little cross, I'm sorry, the little star on there. This is like the star of the metaphysician. This is a, a pentacle, one, two, three, four, five. So it represents the human body, believe it or not. And so this is taking those deep wounds and rising up. You know, the light is what helps those wounds when we don't, when we take them and bring them up to the surface. Now, if this is tied into your job, I did mention health, didn't I? Right. And so our deep, intense emotions about bonded energy, something from the past, possibly a wound. It's intense, right? Uh, this could have been a relationship that you had. This could have been you know, when I say a relationship, this could be somebody you were physically intimate with. This could just be something that has to do with family, like blood bonds. Yep, there could be some wounds about that. Tied to work, interesting. I had a friend who put up a video a few days ago. Uh, she learned Korea. Matter of fact, she's a freaking Capricorn. Now that I think about this, a Capricorn. Um, wow, this is fascinating because there was, she explained how from in her culture where she's from, once you uh, start college or, yeah, you're like, you don't even have a job yet. You're just in college and, and it's expected. The family expects money to be sent home like day one. And so like she was explaining like, that's pretty tricky. You know, you're a starving college student, but it's, an, it's, it's just expected. 
Like it's almost like a duty the way she explained it. So there's some hurts over that. Now, could this be that? Sure. And could something like that be causing you stress that affects your health? Absolutely. Tell me in the comments. If this is something you're, you're, that you, you know, that you can relate to, you let me know, but there's a new beginning and it's about burning away all of that. It's about releasing and letting go of that. So what's fascinating for, for this reading is it's a new, it's a new moon, which is just like the sun and the moon together, but your family and heritage and stuff that's happened in the past and wounds from the past, there are these flames where we're burning it and we're releasing it and we're raising it up to the light. So it's like a transformative power, transformative energy. And yeah, the pentacle that represents the physical body. Hopefully this new work helps you. Again, this card was right side up for you. So this should be beneficial. Doing some work that may help you release the emotions about the past. This would be key for you, I think, because that's what this is. Bringing it to the light, which means talk about it or write about it, or even maybe go right to the family and talk about it. But if you can't go directly to the family and talk about it, then you process it in other ways. And we bring it to the light and eventually it just burns away, right? And once it burns away, it's like we're free. We are free. And it almost feels like magic. So below the video, I'll have all the degrees for those of you who like to pay attention to the degrees in your chart. Again, if you don't know and you want to know, just comment below.